Inverse variation. Inverse variation occurs whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers whose product is constant. For two quantities x and y, an increase in x causes a decrease in y or vice versa. We can simply say that y varies inversely as x when the first variable increase and the second variable decrease. Or, when the first variable decrease, the second variable increase. We can simply write it as y is equal to k over x, where k is the constant of variation. So this y is equal to k over x is our equation when the situation is inverse variation. Let us analyze the situation. The number of pizza slices p varies inversely as the number of persons n sharing a whole pizza. It says that the size of pizza slice is depend um, as the number of persons sharing. So, the more person sharing the pizza, the smaller the size of pizza they will get. So, paliit ng paliit ang size ng pizza kapag parami ng parami ang maghahati. Next is, the number of persons n needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days d to finish the job. So, it says that um, the number of days... Um, they, they will work to finish the job will depend on the number of person working. So, mas mapapabilis, mas mapapaunti ang bilang ng mga araw na kanilang pagtatrabaho kapag marami ang magtatrabaho. Or mas mapapatagal ang uh, araw na kanilang pagtatrabaho kapag kukunti naman ang magtatrabaho o yung labor. Let us write the mathematical equation of the following. Number 1, the number of peche plants n in a row varies inversely as the space s between them. So we have two variables which is the number of peche plants which is n and the space between them which is s. Now from the equation y is equal to k over x, our first variable is y and our second variable is x. So, instead of putting y, we put the small letter n, and in x, we put small, small letter s. So, our equation is n is equal to k over s. Number two, the number of persons n needed to do a job varies inversely as the number of days d to finish the job. Now, our two variable is the number of person, which is n, and the number of days to finish to finish the job is d. So from y is equal to k over x, our first variable is n, and the second variable is d. So our equation is n is equal to k over d. Now let's have an exercise. If y varies directly as x, and y is equal to 14, and x is equal to 2, find k and write the equation of variation. Okay? Now, it says that y varies inversely as x. So, meaning to say, our uh, situation is inverse variation. Okay? And we can simply write it as y is equal to k over x. Now, let us determine the given. We have y is equal to 14 and x is equal to 2. Write it down. y is equal to 14 and x is equal to 2. Now, we are looking for the constant of variation which is k. Alright, so let us substitute the values. For y, we have 14 and, okay, and k, sorry, and x is 2. Alright, next method, we will use the multiplication property of equality. So, we both multiply it by 2, both sides. Okay, so we can cancel this out, this part. Okay, so the equation will become, alright, uh, 14 times 2 is equal to 28. So, meaning to say your constant of variation is equal to 28. Now, we can...
write the equation of variation from y is equal to k over x. Okay, change the uh, value of k, which is 28. So this is the equation of variation. Okay, another example we have here y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 6 when x is 18. Find k and write the equation of variation. So still the situation is inverse variation. Okay, it says here that y varies inversely as x. So our equation is y is equal to k over x. And our given is y is equal to 6 and x is equal to k. And we are looking for the constant of variation. Still, our equation is y is equal to k over x. And we will do the um, substitution method. Our y is 6 and our x is 18. So we will use the multiplication property of equality. We will multiply 18 both sides. So we can cancel this part. Okay. So our x is 18 times 6 is 108. And to write the equation of vari variation, we will use y is equal to k over x and substitute the value of k, which is 108. So this is your final equation of variation, y is equal to 108 over x. Let us try another example here. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 14 and x is equal to 2, find y when x is 6. So our scenario is still in inverse variation because of y varies inversely as x. So we will use the equation y is equal to k over x. Now if you notice, we have two scenarios. The first one is y is equal to 14 and x when x is 2. The next one is find y when x is 6. Okay, we will use uh, the first uh, given y is 14 when x is 2 to find the value of uh, k or constant of variation. Okay, so the first given is y is equal to 14 and x is equal to 2. Again, we are looking for k. Now, we will use the equation y is equal to k over x and we will do the substitution method. So instead of putting y, we put 14 and x is 2. So the next method is we will use the multiplication, sorry, the multiplication property of equality. Alright, we will multiply both sides by 2 to cancel this part. Alright, so our k is equal to 14 times 2. So our k is 28. Now, uh, for the second equation, find y when x is 6. Okay, so this time we are looking for y. So our given is Okay, so your equation first, we will write first the equation of uh, uh, variation from y is equal to k over x, alright? So uh, we will substitute for the value of k, which is 28. So this is also important, the uh, uh, equation of variation. So you need also to write it, y is equal to 28 over x. Next, given, alright, we have here... Uh, k is 28, x is 6, and we are now looking for the value of y. Now, from the equation y is equal to k over x, we will do first the substitution method. k is 28, and x is 6. So, all you need to do is to divide 28 by 6, or you just simplify it. So, your y is 14 over 3. Okay, and that's the answer. So meaning to say, you, uh, uh, your y is 14 when x is 2, and your y is 14 over 3 when x is 6. 
Another example here is if y varies inversely as x and y is 7 and x is 3, find x when y is 10. So this time you are looking for the value of x and still we are in inverse variation from y varies inversely as x and we will use the equation y is equal to k over x. Now, from the first equation, y is equal to 7 and x is 3, okay, I just write the equation and we are looking for k, uh, we will use the fir first equation to find the constant of variation, which is k, okay, so use the equation y is equal to k over x and do the substitution method. So, from y, we have 7 and x is 3. So still, uh, to find the value of k, we will uh, use the multiplication property of equality. That is why we will multiply 3 both sides to cancel this part. Okay, so this time your x, sorry, your k is equal to 7 times 3, which is 21. And from, and to write the equation of variation, from y is equal to k over x, Substitute the value of k, which is 21. So your final equation of variation is y is equal to 21 over x. Now this time, since you already got your k or constant of variation, uh, you can now find x, all right, using y is equal to 10. So just write the given. y is 10, k is 21, and we are looking for x. Now, from y is equal to kx, let's do the substitution. We have y is 10 and k is 21. Now, now uh, what we're going to do is just to uh, simply change uh, the two position, x and 10. Okay, let's uh, interchange. Um, we have x is equal to 21 over 10. So if you can sim if you can simplify it, you, uh, just simplify it. But this time, this is the final answer: twenty one over ten. Let's have a real life situation here. So at forty kilometers per hour, it takes Anna ten hours to travel from her house to their house in the city. So how long will it take her if she travels at eighty kilometers per hour? Now, if you see, we have two sets of given here. The first one, Anna drives forty kilometers per hour, so it it takes her ten hours to get to her to her house in the city. Now, the second one is uh, how long will it take her if she drives eighty kilometers? an hour so we will use the first set to get the constant of variation and the constant of variation here is the distance so write the um, given which is the distance uh, sorry the speed is equal to 40 and t for time is equal to 10 now we are looking for k which is the distance now we will use the equation s is equal to k over t we will now do the substitution method for s is 40 and t is 10. Okay, so our equation will become 40 is equal to k over 10. Now this time we will use the uh, multiplication property of equality. So we will multiply both sides to cancel this part. So your equation will become k is equal to 40 times 10, which is 400. So this is your distance. Now, since we already got um, the distance, we can now find the value of um, t or the time. So s is 80, she drive 80 kilometers per, per hour. Um, and the distance is 400 or k, so we are looking for time. Use again the equation s is equal to k over t and, substitu and substitute the value. So your equation will become 80 is equal to 400 over t. Alright, so um, what, are you uh, what are you going to do next is to interchange these two parts, t and uh, 80. So your equation will become t is equal to 400 over 80 and you just simplify it. Okay, so your t will become 5. So meaning to say if she drives 40 kilometer, it takes her to 10 hours to uh, be in her house in, in, her, uh, in the city. But if she drives 80 kilometer per hour, 
it it will take her five hours only. 